working on a copper plate that has a high frequency electromagnetic field induced by a Tesla coil. You got it right away, right? Um, basically, the electricity in that copper plate or some kind of a conductor plate connects with the electricity in your fingertips and it, it burns the film. Now, depending on what kind of film you use, it can be color, it can be black and white, and so on. It, it's the, the first way of actually taking pictures of, of the energy field. It's nothing new. It was, it was developed back in the 1930s by Semyon and Valentina Curlian. Okay. So, first exposure shows my fingertips. Well, let me go this way. It will be easier. Just like that, these four fingertips. We tried all different methods. I mean, we took, you know, dozens of, of pictures, and we tried to find one way to illustrate the instant changes in, in the mind. So the first exposure shows my four fingertips like that. I had neutral thoughts, no thinking about anything. Nice round energy, right? This one is missing a color, missing that purple. You know why? There's a little change in the corresponding area, which is my head. Take this as a head, the upper body, lower body, legs. Mm -hmm. okay. You can also explain them through acupuncture meridians and so on. Mm -hmm. The color is missing because of uh, metal in my mouth. Anybody else with some metal in your mouth? Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. so just, or if you have jewelry, it changes your energy. It's not going to kill you, but it will change your energy. Okay, a lot of people take their fillings out after finding out about these, or about the negative effects of those. Anyway, second exposure. So yeah, uh, you can pretty much tell everything about my body if you're an expert in this. Second exposure was taken when I was angry. I was pissed, or pissed off. I did a lecture in Scotland and I said I was pissed. And I go like, what, you were drunk? <laughs> <laughs> So, I was angry. I made myself angry. Now, this is the same thing. I'm, I just moved my hands down in that little dark chamber. So, it was instant. You know, 10 seconds later, okay. I got angry. Can you see how it's broken up? And the red lines, the red yeah. dots. Everything is broken up here. Mm -hmm. Just that negative thought it weakened my energy so much. Now, the last exposure was only of my middle finger. Because we tried it a few more times, and you know, I always burnt the film out. This was when I when I was sending energy. I was thinking positive. I was uh, doing long distance on somebody just for that instant. So it was just my middle finger. You see the difference there, there, and there. Sending positive energy. That's what it does to you. So think your think your thoughts in a positive way. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Well, you can. <laughs> okay. Um, so I will show you how. But actually, I do have a question. Yes. When you um, either eat or drink something, mm -hmm. um, do you feel that your thoughts might, um, when you ingest it, play a part in how it goes into your body? Oh, absolutely. I'm not saying that, you know, you can turn a Big Mac into a, a healthy meal. A joy, joyful way. Um, however, it makes a big difference whether you're watching TV and gobbling up something, or you sit down and, and you thank whoever you thank for that meal. It doesn't have to be the person who prepared it. It doesn't have to be a higher power. It can just be a general thing, you know, thank you for this meal. Mm -hmm. And then think of the guy who who picked that lettuce or somebody washed it, somebody cut it up, doesn't matter. You just give thanks for for that that nutritional meal coming into your body. It will make a difference, yeah. Um, it, it all depends on, on how you set your mind. You know, whether somebody will come with a little bell and <laughs> you start salivating right away, <laughs> that will influence you too. But um, it, it definitely definitely uh, influences. So your thoughts are, are absolutely uh, a strong influence on everything around you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, 
So let's see how, when we put all of this knowledge together, how we can affect the body and, and the energy field. So, you know, I just talked about the energy, but you still haven't seen an actual biotherapy session or, or how, uh, how it feels around the whole body. Now you know how to feel it, how to see it. So observe it in your, in your new uh, way. I need a volunteer. <laughs> okay, we'll check out your energy. Try not to that's okay. Just relax. That's all you have to do. All right. What I'm going to do is, is kind of open up your, your energy and just get to it. Kind of let myself in. Just please let your hands down. That kind of gives me the notion that, that you let me do it. Okay. Now, before I, before I do anything, I will show how far her energy field is. Okay? So, as I said, usually roughly as far as you can reach. However, with your thoughts, it changes all the time. And hopefully this lecture is pretty positive, so her energy is a little bit wider. This is around the edge, right here. Again, to me, it feels like, like playing with magnets. You know, you get two magnets closer and you can't push them together and there's a little resistance, okay? Now don't freak out, okay? I'm going to give a little push to that magnet and let's see what happens. <laughs> you feel the magnet? Yes. Okay. I don't want to fall. So, <laughs> you won't fall. I, I'll stop before you would. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's all it's all very physical. It's palpable. It it just takes that that practice to learn to feel feel the energy. Here I'm gonna give you a little more push. I just tested you out a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't worry. Nobody. Well, a few people fell down, but that's okay. <laughs> not the last. <laughs> not not this year. Um, it goes everywhere around you. Just imagine the big, big sh egg shape around that. That is like a protective layer. Now we we don't influence it just by pushing. We can grab onto the energy again. I'll go into your field, see if you can feel this. <laughs> it gives a new meaning to yeah. being pulled by your nose, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, the goal of, of the treatment, what we do here, is literally to, to find these imbalances in the body. Now, if, if somebody comes to me with already pre-established problems and they, they want me to fix it, then it's, it's, a, it's a quick treatment. However, many people come to me with, with problems that, that modern medicine hasn't found yet. Plenty of those. Or, or they have a name for it, but really no treatment for it. Like, like in Betty's case, you know, fibromyalgia, it's a very wide term. 